Hello, I'm going to briefly show you how to use TES 5 Edit to, in order to create a patch between two mods that conflict. So I'm going to go to the profile that I want the patch in. You can see I have a lot of mods, but I'm only interested in two of them. Since I am using Mod Organizer, I will launch TES 5 Edit through Mod Organizer. And um, if you're not using Mod Organizer, you would just launch TS5 Edit, not through Mod Organizer. So I have my load order. It's way too long to load in TS5 Edit, but as you can see, that won't matter. So launch TS5 Edit, and I need to select only. I need to select only the mods that I want. That error was because I was trying to hold F1 and right click. So select none. I always keep the unofficial patches checked because if there's any changes they make, I want to carry those forward. And then the two mods I want to patch are Potions Replacer, which is a very gorgeous Potions Replacer, probably the best one, and I Need Dangerous Diseases, which edits potions. So I've selected did none, and then I only selected the mods that I actually want to load, which is why it doesn't matter that I actually have more than 255 ESPs, because I'm only selecting the ones that I actually care about right now. Now, if I just hit OK right now, loot would, TS5 edit would uh, load reference info, basically which forms refer to each other for all of them, and I don't want TS5 edit to do that because it takes longer to launch. I don't care about that right now. If I was doing something else, I might care about that. So in order to keep it from doing that, I'm just going to hit shift and then hit the OK button. And then you can see it doesn't load reference info. It takes way faster to load. Uh, TS5 Edit never builds reference info for Skyrim.esm. By default, if you want to see what forms are referred to by Skyrim.esm, you have to build it manually. That won't be covered in this uh, video. Okay, so I have potions I need and I need dangerous diseases loaded and I want to see that they conflict. I happen to know that they conflict because I know they both edit potions, uh, but I want to see wh exactly which forms conflict. So right click, apply filter, and I just use the default settings because I don't know any better. Taking, applying the filter takes some time. Okay, so potions is being overwritten. And we can see from this that what's being overwritten is the ingestible. That means things you can eat. Things that are green are not being overwritten. So things that are green are overwriting something else. In this case, it's overwriting Skyrim.esm. And it is successfully overwriting and not being overwritten itself. If we scroll down, this is orange. That means it's overwriting something that isn't its master. It's overwriting something that isn't Skyrim.esm. And you can see the unofficial Skyrim patch changes the model here, and potions.esp changes the model. In this case, we don't care. It's probably a bug fix model that the unofficial Skyrim patch used, but since the new model from Potions Replacer is entirely different, it doesn't matter that it's overwriting the unofficial patch. Then we have this. Here it's overwriting, but this is just something that's being carried over from vanilla that's being overwritten. It's been, not being overwritten by something intentionally in Potions ESP, it's just that there's a keyword that the unofficial patch added that Potions.esp doesn't carry over. So in my patch, I'm probably going to want to carry over that. So to make a patch, right, right click. Copy as override. I know what I'm doing. You want to make a new file. Do not copy into existing ESPs because then if you need to reinstall that mod, your ESP is gone. If you need to fix your, what you did, then you have to go digging through some other random ESP to fix it. Always fix copy into a new file that you've made when you're doing this. And call it potions patch. Yes, as master. So you can see, I just copied the file, 
the form exactly as it exists in potions.esp into my new potions patch. So we're then we need to uh, add the keyword. So that's really easy. You just click and drag, click and drag straight over, and now you have the keyword. So you, now you have the model from potions.esp and the keyword that the unofficial patch adds. Um, looks like there's a few more of those. Okay, this one changes the sound. So here you can see that it's overwriting the sound and this is actually changing which sound you use with potions for some reason. Um, that's the vendor item keyword again. Same thing to fix those. Copy as override. Into the same patch I already made. I don't need 10 different ESPs just one, and click and drag to add the sound. All right, now to where, aha, red. This is something that's being overwritten by something else. So you can see, I need dangerous diseases edits the potion of cure disease. And so it calls it a potion of saying cure sanguinary vampiris, and it changes the effect. So, what you could do is you could put dangerous diseases before potions. Then, the necessary change that I need makes as part of its diseases package would not be made. You would still have potions of cure disease available in the game, and they would have the pretty potions replacer model. You could also load dangerous diseases after potions.esp. Potions replacer would then be active for all potions except for the cure disease potion. This cure disease potion would have the vanilla model, but they wouldn't be potions of cure disease anymore. They'd be potions of cure sanguinary vampiris. If you want both, I need to be active and potions.esp to be active. Pretty potions that don't cure disease so that you have the I need balance that was intended by Isoku, then you need to make a patch. And that's really easy. It's the same thing we did before. Copy as override into my potions patch. Then I want to change the name. Click and drag. I want to change the effect. Click and drag. That requires I need because that effect is only an I need. And I do want to add that as a master. So now I have po disease potions that are not actually disease potions anymore and ha look pretty. Then if we want to save the ESP we just made. We just hit the X button, save, back up. In this case, I haven't made edits. This ESP is new, so backup won't do anything, but that saves the ESP. If you are not using Monorganizer, the ESP goes directly into your data folder along with the backup, which goes into the TS5 edit backups folder in your data folder. If you are using Monorganizer, it goes into your overwrite. And you can see, here's my potions patch.esp here. And that is how you patch a conflict in TS5 edit.